Hi, Cancer. This is Born with a Veil. I thought I'd do a bonus reading. Okay, let's see what's happening. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to book a reading. 313-401-3707. So you got the Six of Swords. So somebody's getting ready to take a trip or a spiritual journey. Or you're on one now. Um, and you're going on the spiritual journey or a trip because you're coming over some difficulties that's been going on in your life. Okay? You got a lot of anxiety going on there. And some of you need to be by water. Then you have the lovers in the reversed position. So, um, you are separated. Um, somebody's not meeting the test. You're putting out a test and they're not meeting it. Okay, you're very frustrated by this. Um, people have interfered into your relationship. Okay. And then you have the two of wands. You stand out very bold, very dominant. Um, some of you take it too far, though. Um, you are very mature. Um, um, very bold. Like I say, very... You have a lot of courage in your undertakings. Your personality is very dominating at this time. Then you've got the sun. So um, you have some social relationships going on with men and women. Um, some of you are engaged to be married or some of you will get engaged to be married. Um, there is a favorable outlook with the sun. And then you have the Nine of Swords. So some of you are hibernating. You have a lot of men or women chasing you. A lot of men and women want to be with you, but you're in hiding. Or you're just staying to yourself at this particular time because you have anxiety over someone that you care about and you love. You're not happy at this time um, romantically. Um, you can't sleep, a lot of you. Um, a lot of you are quarreling with a person at this time. And somebody had a miscarriage from all this arguing and fighting. If you're pregnant, uh, please do not argue and fight because it, entertainment purposes only it could lead to a miscarriage. If you're early, ignore the arguing. It gets you plenty of rest. Then you have the falling tower. Some of you are going to stay in the same position that you are. Okay, you're still going to follow your old ways. Some of you are not going to change. Some of you are not willing to change. Some of you are not trying to change. And you're going to live in a rut. Okay, um, some of you, like I say, are not, some of you are in an unhappy marriage at this time or unhappy relationship. Um, and whatever relationship that you're in, in a marriage at this time, Cancer, um, you're not happy. And some of you are just not going to make any changes in that marriage. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, the five of coins. So whatever has been going bad, there's going to be a reversal in that. Um, you're finding new interest within your life. You're going to be overcoming this room that's been going on in your life. Um, but still, there's disharmony in a marriage or love interest. You're still not happy within that situation then it may be, if you're not happy in that situation, then maybe you need to make a change within yourself uh, to make it happy. Uh, Queen of Swords, you can't always depend on the other person to make you happy and make changes when Cancer, you're not even trying to uh, make a change within a relationship. Uh, Queens of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some Cancers are narrow-minded. They only think about what they want to think about, and that's it. You can't change their mind. They're not going to change their mind. They stay in that same mind frame. Um, you can be malicious. Uh, you can be deceitful and very vengeful. And there are some uh, tor um, Tauruses, <laughs> Cancers, that, yeah, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. I, every time I do Cancer, oh, my God. And when I do Taurus, I say Cancer. When I say Cancer, I say Taurus. Um, so anyway, um, Cancers, some of you are very ill-tempered. You got a very ill-tempered. That means a sick, 
temperament, temperament. There's something sick going on in your mind. That's a mental condition. Um, that's not going to resonate with every cancer. Okay. It's just not. Um, then you've got the Knight of Coins. So right now you're at a standstill in your life. Some of you are being careless. There's carelessness here. Watch, watch your actions when it comes to others and yourself and your surroundings. Uh, some of you do not have a, you have a lack of determination or direction. Some of you are very narrow-minded and dogmatic and you're, you're, you're at a standstill in this. You can't let this go. You don't know how to let this go. If you're in a relationship and you love somebody, you keep putting on the pressure, you keep saying all these awful things to this person that you're in love with, instead of come out and say, you know what? I'm in love with you and I want to be with you. This is for men and women, okay? Because this is what the card is saying, the Knight of Coins. I'm just not making this shit up, okay? You're at a standstill in your relationship or your friendship. You're being careless about it. There's a lack of determination. You're not trying to make an effort. Um... You're narrow-minded in this relationship, and you're dogmatic. That means you're mean as fuck, and you're at a standstill within this relationship or marriage. You're not trying to make it any better. It's at a standstill, okay? The card is saying itself. I don't want to hear no backlash with the, with the knight of coins that I'm making this shit up. It says it right in the fucking card. Stagnation. You're at a standstill. Carelessness. You're being careless about the situation. Lack of determination. You're not trying to make things better. You're making it worse, whatever you're doing. Or direction. You're not even making a... You're not, you're not even trying to move forward with this relationship. Narrow-mindedness. You're being narrow-minded about the relationship. Dogmatic views. You're being an asshole about the whole fucking situation. Okay, idleness. You're at standstill. You're not moving. The card is saying that itself. So... Before you want to get mad at me, get mad at the get mad at the Knight of Coins, okay? Um, then you have the Queen of Cups, reversed. So maybe your Queen is in consistence of not doing anything, okay? It works both ways. Um, maybe there's some dishonesty. Maybe they're not telling you how they truly feel, okay? Uh, maybe you don't trust them, and they. It, your queen don't trust you, and with the knight of coins, you don't trust them. So it works both ways. It's just not on one person, okay? Then you've got the strength card, but you have control of the situation, Cancer, okay? You have the strength, and you have the courage to overcome this, to foresee it, to move on, back off, whatever you want to do. You have the determination. You have a lot of action around you. You have confidence with yourself. Some of you um, have a huge ego about your looks. You have a, e a huge ego about yourself. And you make sure that everybody knows that, okay? Um, you got the temperance. So there's a disunion between you and whoever. You have conflict of interest. You're fighting. You're arguing all the time. There's disunion. There's hostility, cancer, with you and whoever. And some cancers cannot work with other people. Um, they're loners. And you don't understand other people, but you want them to understand you. They don't work that way. And then you've got the Ace of Swords. So you're making a great determination with your life, trying to get your life together. Or you're making an initiative. Um, there is a strong force around you. Uh, a lot of cancers are pregnant at this time or you're very fertile. Okay? There's deep emotional feelings for this person that you have. There's a lot of love that you have. Um, there's it's a championship. You're going to win in, in this uh, love interest, within this marriage, within this relationship. You're going to win in the outcome. You guys might be fucking fussing and fighting and whatever you're doing, but there's going to be a final outcome and there's going to be a championship. So you're going to win within this relationship, okay? But some of you are pregnant. You got all these emotional, emotional shit going on. You know, um, calm down if you're pregnant. Calm down. Think about it. Okay, your anxiety level is so high. But cancer, all in all, 
if you love somebody, then just come out and tell them that you love them. Stop being stubborn. Stop going around the mulberry bush with shit. If you love a person, you're not going to get them by arguing and fighting all the time. And you're very demanding. Okay? You want what you want for your life. So does everybody else. Okay? But if you want something bad enough, you're going to stop arguing and fighting and pointing the finger. And point the finger at yourself sometimes too. Where did you mess up? What's going on with you? Okay? So this is Born with a Veil. God bless.